G'day legends, my name is Tom Woods and if you haven't seen me before, I'm a full-time commercial and water photographer based in Queensland, Australia and I now also mentor fellow photographers to get their craft to the next level and beyond. In this video, I'll be discussing editing software and looking at one option in particular called ACDC. Yeah, not that ACDC. A lot of my members inside my various courses and even my social media followers ask me what is the best software and are there any alternatives to the bigger, more obvious ones like Lightroom and Photoshop. So I've been doing a bit of research over the past year and have looked into a fair few programs so I can best help those out that are curious. To start off with, I have been a long time user of Lightroom and Photoshop and will probably continue that for a long time to come, but I'm always open to new and better tools for me and I need to be aware that the Adobe Duo of Lightroom and Photoshop may not be for everyone. Lightroom and Photoshop are now both on a subscription system where you pay a fee each month to have access to the software. In Australia, it is currently at $14.29 per month. Uh, so in US dollars, that's probably closer to 10 bucks a month. I pay $43 a month for my subscription because I also include the Premiere Pro video software that I use to make these YouTubes. Personally, I am more than happy to pay this because I am literally using them every single day of the year with my professional photography, so it's a small price to pay for such a great tool. However, I do hear a lot of you say you would prefer not to be locked into a subscription each month, you may not use it all the time, you may just be a holiday time photographer, or you just can't justify the investment. And that's fine, and I get it. Our priorities all lay in different areas, so this is why a software like ACDC could be an amazing solution to those that feel this way and could be what you're looking for within your photo editing. Now this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to use the software, it's more of a heads up to let you know it's here, what its strengths and weaknesses are and if it's something that resonates with you. So first up, the big plus about this software is that it has an option for a one-off investment. No one got going monthly uh, subscription fees, just buy it once and you have it for life. They also have a subscription model for those who prefer that way of doing things. And this alone may be enough for you to get excited, but it's no use to you if it doesn't do the job and some editing softwares just don't do the job. I've looked into a fair few now and some just flat out are a waste of money, but more importantly, a waste of time. From my experience, you want to go long-term with your editing software because like all softwares, there is a learning curve and you don't want to be constantly climbing that learning curve mountain all the time because you are swapping out your softwares every few months or even every few years. This is one of the firm reasons I haven't changed from Lightroom since it was first brought out. I invested in the very first version in 2007 and have been using it ever since. So the goal today is to help you find the right software for you so you can go long term with it and create amazing finished pieces of work and this ACDC software may be the answer. So let's quickly look over the interface and features of the ACDC editor. First and most crucial thing for a software editing is that it converts from raw files so you can work on them non-destructively inside the software. Happy to say that ACDC does this and does it very well. When importing from your camera, you can keyword your files, rate and label, and all the important organizing stuff that makes a difference with the workflow down the track, especially if you are taking a lot of images. Once you have everything trackable and sorted, you can then use this program to star your best images and then move into the processing side of things. Okay, now we are inside the ACDC software, photo editing software. Now this is not gonna be a full tutorial. I'm just gonna run through you so you can have a quick look inside. Um, if you, if I do get a lot of interest on this ACDC, I may roll out a few more YouTubes on how to actually use it. This is the, what they, up, so up the top right here, this is what they call the manage tab. So this is where you first import your raw files. And then this is where you can name the files. So you can make your unique names, not the camera names. And you can also um, do things like um, new keywords. So down here you can add a keyword. So you might want to add the surfer's name or 
uh, the location or something so you can quickly look up stuff in the future. You can also up here you can use the star rating system so that's always good when you've got a picture selected you can say yep I want to three star rate this and little three pops up. Later on you can then select only your three stars so you get rid of you trim the fat and you get rid of it all. That's the idea of starring system in short I can go more into that in later tutorials but then we go to the view tab so the next tab along is view and now you go into a full screen edit the next tab is where it gets um, a little bit more serious that's where it is in develop mode so then it brings up the picture full frame which is good it's got your little thumbnails on the bottom so you can toggle between the pictures but up on the left hand side is all your is all your settings so general is probably the first one you go into up the top you've got exposure so basic brighten and lightening of exposure highlight recovery to save those whites that might be blown out and you know your basic contrast and saturation sliders all pretty self-explanatory and it's all there stuff that you want in Lightroom you can obviously change color balance there to get the correct color balance that you're looking for and then a host of things um, like so much to go into here that's in the tune thing and then you've got detail so in here you can go into um, sharpening need to do sharpening noise reduction if you've used high ISOs noise reduction reduction um, is pretty decent on this actually I've tried a, a few high noise uh, images and it's pretty good uh, you can smooth skin for portraits if you want to go to do that sort of thing and um, aberration correction defringe you know you've got all these options in the details geometry if you've got a, a lens that distorts like fish eyes you can correct that to an extent using distortion rotations so you can crop rotate to get a straighter horizon if you took, took a crooked, crooked picture you know it's just got all the basic stuff so it's pretty pretty user friendly there and the last little tab is just the hill and clone so you can get rid of any uh, dust marks that may be in the sky but yeah I mean that's it that's a really quick rundown but as you can see from that little little quick race around that you can um, do a fair bit of work within this program and remember this is the baseline program so full tilt program has got a lot more usability and I go into that later in this video so that was a super basic walkthrough so you can get a peek inside the ACDC software and see that it has most of the adjustments that you will find inside the high-end Lightroom software if Lightroom disappeared off the face of the earth tomorrow I would know that I could easily use this software to produce the same professional results for my clients without too much compromise. There are four different levels of investment for this software. They have the home, the professional and the ultimate bundles. And this is where a big downfall is. If you are a Mac user like me with the professional and the ultimate packages, they are for Windows users only. And the ultimate is where they start to include the AI masking of subjects, people and backgrounds. When I first saw these capabilities inside ACDC at the start of this year, I was blown away and was ready to jump in. But since then, Lightroom itself has made some huge upgrades in this department and have now taken the lead back strongly with super smart um, subject, sky, person, and even eyes and mouth detection. So you can now work on the individual areas very quickly. This advancement over the last year, I reckon, has been one of the biggest leaps in photo editing software since it started. So if you have a Windows system, you can get this AI subject sky detection with the ultimate version. The ultimate version is currently 149 US. Um, the professional version is 99 US and the home version is 59. And they do do a Mac version for just 39 and that's the one I am using in this video because I only run Mac computers. So this version will get the job done, but I would prefer going to the ultimate version to have more usability. So in summary, if you are a Windows computer user and looking at a software you can buy outright that will produce high quality images, then my suggestion is the ultimate version. If you don't want to go to 149, then the pro version or home version will get your editing. Uh, get your editing your images to a high standard. Outside of Lightroom, I think for most Windows computer users, this software is right up there with the best alternatives around. 
If you are a Mac user, then you only have the Mac version available to you and that's $39, which I believe is great value for the low cost. But if you are super serious about your photography and use editing software all the time, then really the $14 monthly fee from Lightroom and Photoshop is so low that Mac users should definitely consider that. I have more about using and choosing softwares inside my online photography courses. There will be links in the description below to all of those and I will link the ACDC website below so you can check it out yourself. I believe they have a free trial so you can give it a spin for yourself. Thanks for tuning in legends. Please send through any comments and questions. Always love hearing from you beautiful people and we'll talk again soon.